Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigeta Studio. Today I'm going to share with you how you can modify a macro that has already been exported to add more parameters in the edit page. And that, without having to re-export everything all over again, you can just import it, make the modification you want, and re-export it. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page. And recently I've made a video explaining how to export a macro from A to Z. So we've basically exported that title right there. So if you don't know how to export a macro, you can check that video. I will link it in the description below. This video is not for you. This video is for maybe people that are a bit more advanced and already know how to export a macro. It's a quick tip that I'll share in the video. It's how to add more parameter right here to an already existing macro. So let's say here I've exported that title. Everything is fine until I realized that, oh, I didn't export the parameter to adjust the border width of that rectangle. Now you don't have to re-export the title all over again. You can just make a quick modification in the Fusion page. So let's just go over and check that together. First, you need to access the title file. So you can just go over to template, right click on it, then show folder. And then here, if, if that's the DRFX file, just uncompose the DRFX file and get to the file. And if it's just something uh, here in the edit folder, just get to that file. Then you can simply copy it. Then you can just bring whatever node in Fusion, right click on it, go to macro, and then create macro just to prompt open the macro editor. Then you can simply go here to menu and here just select open. Right now for save change to macro tool one, you don't care, so just select no. And then you can simply bring your dot setting file right here, click open and now you'll be able to have access to all the parameters. So now the dollar counter title has been loaded and I can just go around and add any parameter that I want. In my case, I wanted to add something with the rectangle. To do that, I'm simply gonna go over to rectangle and then here I'm gonna select border width because that's what I wanted to export and what was missing. But you could just select any other parameter. For example, here the opacity could be helpful with the level and maybe the soft edge. So I'm gonna select those three. And then once I'm happy, I'm simply going to select close and then here I'm just going to save change yes now because my title was directly saved here in the title folder everything has been saved now in DaVinci Resolve but if you have a DRFX file just recreate your DRFX file and then reinstall it now I've just relaunched DaVinci Resolve and now if I'm bringing the dollar counter again in the timeline and as you can see if we go over to the inspector I have my border width that I can adjust directly here in the edit page as well as the soft edge and also the level but here the level wouldn't have been a great idea because i've put some keyframe on it so i'm gonna mess up the animation if i start to just drop a keyframe on it but i'm explaining why you shouldn't do that in the full macro video so if you want to learn more about it it's in the description below and that's very much it i just wanted to share that simple but very helpful trick if you exporting macro often because it personally happened to me a lot that i'm exporting something and then i realized that i would need one or two other parameter and instead of just re-exporting everything you can simply modify the file and that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next and see you in the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.